Hey guys, this is Austin, and this is the Neutron 3.0. $750 is an interesting sweet spot as it allows you to not only do fairly intense gaming including virtual reality, but you can also do some other things such as streaming or even editing video. With some pretty solid performance under the hood, we're also getting a case that looks pretty decent with a built-in window, and with that you can see the heart of the system which is the Intel Core i5-6500. This is a quad-core processor that can clock up to 3.6 GHz. Now as a new Intel Skylake processor, we're getting not only some of the best performance that you can get in a desktop CPU, but it's enough to really handle basically any kind of gaming that you throw at it. Even though there are high-end Core i7s that can reach well over $1,000, in normal real-world gaming, you're actually not going to notice much of a difference at all compared to the $200 Core i5. It's paired with the Gigabyte H170M DS3H motherboard. It's nothing too fancy, but it gets the job done. It also supports up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, which honestly is probably more than you're ever going to need. There's also an M2 slot for a super fast SSD, two SATA Express ports, and six SATA 3 ports for all the storage options your heart desires. As you probably noticed if you caught my RX 480 video, the Neutron 3.0 is sporting some serious graphics horsepower. It's all thanks to the new AMD Radeon RX 480, and I actually did an entire video if you guys want the full details, but the short answer is, this is one very powerful card for not a lot of money. The biggest problem with the RX 480 is actually just getting your hands on them. So right now they're sold out in most places, so I will do my best to find you guys a link in the description of this video, but if you can find a 480, it is absolutely a killer card. You're looking at being able to play games at 1080p ultra settings at 60fps, and in a lot of cases you can actually even bump it up to 1440p. For example, in Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, you're able to play on 1440p at ultra settings at just under 60fps. Move over to Grand Theft Auto V, which is still a really nice looking PC title, and you're still able to play at 1440p. 40p ultra settings. Mind you, you're down to about 40 frames per second or so, but it's still entirely playable. Moving over to a new DirectX 12 title, we have Ashes of the Singularity, and here again we're able to play at 1440p at extreme settings with around 40 frames per second. Moving on, we have The Witcher 3, which is another game that looks absolutely awesome on the PC. Here we're also able to play at 1440p, however you do need to turn the settings down to medium. It's probably not a bad idea to enjoy this one at 1080p Ultra. It's clear that the 480 gives you a ton of performance for the money, especially when you consider that this is a great way to build yourself a budget VR gaming rig. To house everything, we have the Corsair 100R. For $50, I really like this case. Not only does it look nice, but it has a window to show off your shiny new build. It does only have a single 120mm fan in the back, however that's more than sufficient for this build, and you still have room for plenty of fans up front, or even a liquid cooler up top. For memory, we have 8GB of Corsair Vengeance RAM. Not only is 8 gigs a great sweet spot for gaming, but it's also fast DDR4, and there's plenty of room to expand if you need more later on. For storage, we have a 240GB Crucial BX200 SSD, paired with a 1TB WD Black hard drive. This is a good combination, as having an SSD in a modern computer is pretty much not even negotiable, and having a 1TB hard drive that's still fairly fast will work great for all the extra Steam games that won't fit on the SSD. Powering everything is the EVGA 500 watt bronze power supply. It might not be fancy, but it'll absolutely get the job done. One of the best parts of building your own computer is that you get to customize it as much as you want, and I will have all the links you guys need in the description of this video. And if you want to see the Neutron 3.0 in action, you can check out the video I did with my friend Alex, where she built a computer for the very first time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you in the next one.